The Husqvarna 1070 sewing machine features a variety of decorative stitches plus alphabet and number stitches. Instead of changing the stitches as you go, you can program a sequence of stitches in a row to either create a repeating phrase or a repeating pattern. Here's a simple example where I stitched my channel name in one sequence and a flower leaf flower leaf repeating sequence in another. In this video, I'll show you how to program these two types of stitch sequences on the Husqvarna 1070 sewing machine. As a quick tip before you start sewing, this type of stitch design seems to work best on fabric that has been stabilized. I also recommend to always stitch a sample on a scrap piece of fabric before diving into embellishing your project directly. This way you can be sure that your sequence settings will output how you expect it. With that out of the way, let's get started. Here is the stitch selection panel. The standard stitches and decorative stitches are shown in blue. The alphabet and number stitch options are shown in green. I'm going to program in the name of my channel, Craftcore. Turn on your sewing machine and press the FUNK or FUNCTION button. The letters PROG, which is short for program mode, will appear on the display. Then press the green menu button. This will tell the sewing machine that you want to use the green stitch options in the stitch selection panel instead of the decorative stitches. Press the first letter of your word, in my case, C. Then press the right arrow button under memory to advance to the next letter position. Repeat this process of selecting a letter, then pressing the right arrow until all of your letters are inserted. As you insert them, the display will display the letter. There doesn't seem to be a way to actually insert a space between letters, so if you need to insert a space between two words, you could use the hyphen stitch, stitch 41, as a stand-in, then stitch rip it out after. When you insert the last stitch selection, be sure that you have pressed the right button to confirm the selection. In other words, once you're done, this area of the display should be empty. To verify your text, you can press the left arrow button under the memory to go back to the beginning, then press the right arrow all the way through to the end of the sequence. Once your full sequence is inserted, press the function button again, and the display will update to say REP, short for repeat mode. This tells the sewing machine that we are ready to stitch out our repeating stitch sequence. The display will show the first stitch letter. As you sew, the display will automatically update to show the letter that you're currently stitching. Start sewing, and the machine will cycle through the letters you programmed in. When you reach the end of the sequence, it will start again from the beginning. If you only want to insert the word once, you're going to have to watch your work carefully since the machine does not automatically stop when it reaches the end of the sequence. Better? Yeah, except I forgot the letter C. <laughs> When you want to return to the regular stitch, press function again to exit repeat mode. How to correct a stitch sequence. Since the machine is quite old, my machine's display is difficult to read now, and I didn't notice that I had a typo. Oops, so how can you correct a mistake? It's very easy. Return your machine to program mode by pressing the function button again. Use the left and right memory arrows to find the position where you made the mistake. Press the clear button and the sequence from that point on will be cleared. You can then reprogram in the remaining letters, then press function button again to return to repeat mode. In this next demonstration, I'll show you how to alternate between two decorative stitches. Turn on your sewing machine and press the function button. Program will now appear on the display. Press the first decorative stitch that you want in your sequence. I chose stitch number 21, a dainty flower. 21 will now appear on the display in the top right. Press the right arrow, located at the top right of the machine, to move to the next stitch in the sequence. Then, choose the next desired stitch design. I press number 25, a leaf stitch. Then press the right arrow again to move to the next stitch. 
Since I wanted a simple repeat, I only inserted these two stitches, but you can repeat this process to add additional designs if you want more complicated stitch sequences. Once your full sequence is inserted, press the function button again and the display will update to say repeat mode. This tells the sewing machine that we're ready to stitch our repeating stitch sequence. The display will show the first stitch pattern number, and as you sew, the display will automatically cycle through the stitch numbers. Start stitching as usual, and you'll achieve the desired stitch pattern sequence, which will repeat until you are done. Please note that if you turn off the sewing machine, all your stitches will be cleared, so be sure that you're done when you turn it off. I hope that this sewing machine tutorial is useful for you. I also have a playlist on my channel featuring my other Husqvarna 1070 sewing machine demonstrations. I found this machine at the thrift store a few years ago and was never able to track down an instruction manual for it, so I've been learning the functions of this machine by trial and error. I'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button on this video, it would really help me out. Subscribe for more crafting and sewing videos from Craftcore, DIY and Sewing. This is Craftcore signing off, see you next time.